Audrey Labour, who appeared on Britain's Got Talent, has died aged 95, with her death being confirmed in a statement by her local vicar. Many have left the tribute to the remarkable Audrey while being credited also for her successful acting career. In a Facebook statement, posted by her local church on Friday, it was revealed that the performer had sadly died. Alongside a beaming image of Audrey, Reverend Simon Grigg penned, It is with deep sadness that we report the death of our much-loved friend Audrey Laybourn, who died early on Thursday morning. She was a remarkable person, a real trooper of an actress, starting her career with Sir Donald Wolfitt, no less, and a much-loved member of Street. Pauls. She has a last message for you all. When she was in the hospital two weeks ago, she said to me, if I pop off, tell everyone I don't regret a thing. I've had a wonderful life. Quite a statement, quite a lady. Quite a Christian. We will, of course, let everyone know when we have details of her funeral. May she rest in peace and rise in glory. Amen. While having made appearances on the TV program Stella and Doctors, she won the hearts of the UK when she performed on Britain's Got Talent in 2018. Audrey impressed judges and the crowd alike when she sang I Wanna Be Loved By You at the age of 90. When Amanda Holden asked whether she was married, Audrey hilariously replied, No, I was in love many, many times. 22 Gentlemen. Audrey had a successful career and was even a member of the dance group The Roly Pollies, making appearances on Leigh Dawson's BBC show in the 1980s. Following her stint on Britain's Got Talent, she appeared in a York pantomime and had a two-episode appearance on Carter Get Rich. She played Potty Teapots in Beauty and the Beast for her first pando performance at the age of 90. This follows reports that BGT judge David Williams has quit the ITV show ahead of its 2023 series, following 10 years on the judging panel. A source said of his exit, he hasn't taken the decision lightly, but it just feels like time to move on. David has decided to bow out after a 10-year run. He wants to leave on a high after a wonderful time. Being on the show has been a huge source of entertainment and joy for him and he is arguably the most popular member of the panel. They added to The Sun, his team have quietly been having conversations over the past few days where it has been made clear that David is readying himself to step down, and then producers will start to think about who might replace him. His exit might not be popular with fans who adore him. Speaking to Express.co.uk, a Britain's Got Talent spokesperson addressed the rumours commenting, it's still very much up in the air at the moment on whether David is going to take part in next year's show. No decision, though, has been made as yet.